hello everyone uh, today we will discuss some example of deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata last class already we have seen some numericals on deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata see here one example one numerical is given a language is given a to the power n b to the power 2 n n greater than equal to 0 design a pda for the given language so here you see this language is a contest free language this language is a contest free language here we are a number of a and number of b there is a comparison between number of a and number of b so what are the strings are generated here here suppose n equal to 1 then a double b then n equal to 2 then a double a 4 b like that strings will be generated by this language for this we have to design a push down automata so here initial state q 0 and here when you are taking input as a a and stacked up as a z then we push a into the stack this first transition is we are taking a into the stack input a stacked up is z then we have to push a into the stack then after go to the q1 state these two are push operation see next here q1 a a when stacked up is a input is a then again a will be push into the stack so here again these two are push operation these two are push operation we are pushing a into the stack then after we are in q1 state then q1 input is b and stacked up is a then again stacked up remains same we do not have to uh, do any operation in stack so here is the no operation you can say this transition is no operation no operation no operation then after we are in q2 state in q2 input is b stacked up is a then here we have to pop one a from the stack one a from the stack so then then after again we are in q3 then go to the uh, input is b stacked up is a then going to q2 then no operation this is the pop operation this is the pop operation and this one is and this is a no operation this is the no operation and this is going to final state when you have read all the input uh, this is the final final state accepted state so this is the diagram in you can draw the diagram also you can write all the transition written like this in this form also you can draw the diagram then here z is the stack bottom z is the stack bottom and q0 is the initial state and also it is an accepted state why this is q0 is the accepted state because here epsilon will be generated by this language if n will be 0 then empty string will be generated by this language that's why q0 itself is a final state so we'll check this how this string is accepted we'll take one string how the string is accepted by this uh, push down automata you can do diagram also you can write in this way uh, in transition form so here we have to take one example of this string how this string is accepted by this diagram so here you have to take here q0 is the initial state then here a a then b b b b and this is z so here input is double a for b and stack bottom is z stack bottom is z so here this is the input string this is input and this is stack this is stack so first step is q0 you are in q0 state and input is a stacked up is z so what you have to do go to the q1 and push a into the stack 
So, go to the q 1 then push a into the stack this is a z ok. Then after then after then after q 1 this is a q 1 now q 1 input state is q 1 and input is a and stack top is a then what you have to do again you have to go to the q 1 and push a into the stack q 1 then push a into the stack a into the stack. So, next here you see here when you are in q 1 and input is b stack top is a what you have to do input is b stack top is a just read the b and whatever stack top that will be remain same means there will be no operation you no need to do any operations. So, here you can say we are going to q 2 q 2 and this is b b and b and this is a a z here is the no operation means we do not have to do anything in the stack just read b and go ahead the q 2 then you are going to q 2. Next you see here q 2 q 2 there is a input b input b stack top a what you have to do input b stack top a then a will be pop from the stack and go to the q 3 state. So, here in q 2 input is b stack top is a then what you have to do pop a from the stack. So, here we have to go q 3 now you are in q 3 and this is b b a z a z. So, next you see now we are in q 3 input is a q 3 input is b stack top is a. So, we are going to q 2 and stack top remains same means no operation. So, q 2 this is b and this is a z here is the no operation no operation. Then after you see here q 2 input is b stack top is a q 2 input is b stack top is a then this is q 3 you just pop this is b a then pop then this is epsilon and this is z. So, in q 3 epsilon z and you have to go to the q 0 this q 0 is the accepted state q 0 now q 0 q 0 is the accepted state accepted state. So, here all the strings in which uh, generated by this language accepted by the this push down automata and you can say here z is the stack bottom we have written q 0 is the initial state and accept state also if you will take the epsilon empty without any string this will be accepted because n is greater than equal to 0 when n, n is 0 then epsilon will be accepted by this diagram. So, this is the language you can say this is a deterministic contest free language this is a deterministic contest free language and here the what is the concept here in is all a we have to push into the stack for one b there is no operation then another b you have to make it pop uh, pop a from the stack like that this 2 b will be like a loop all a will be pushed into the stack for in 2 b 1 b will be no operation another b you have to pop 1 a from the stack. So, this is the one example of uh, deterministic push down automata and you can say this language is called deterministic contest free language this language is deterministic contest free language. So, we will go to the another example we will see what type of uh, how we will design this push out down automata and what is the language what would be the language. So, here here is different here in last example it was a to the power n 
and b to the power 2 n and here it is a to the power 2 n b to the power n and here what are the strings are generated strings are here strings are what is the strings are here generated strings like epsilon double a b is uh, double a b then uh, 4 a 4 a 2 b like that string will be generated this is all the strings will be generated like that means a will be this 2 a 2 a 1 b 4 a 2 b like that string will be generated. So, here the concept is that here q 0 a z then in first a we have to push into the stack then after that another a we have to know operation then another a you have to push again like that loop another a no operation the no operation push like that this will be continue when b will come then you have to pop a from the stack pop a from the stack so see this this operation is push operation this is the push writing this is the push operation and here this is the no operation q2 q1 a a this is no operation no operation no operation no need to push or pop then here uh, it is push operation it is a push operation push operation then here this is pop and this is pop and this is accept So, here is the uh, we have taken three states and this is a diagram you can make it diagram also you can write in transition form like this. So, here is the string will check take a string and how this is accepted and here same thing z is a stack bottom and uh, q0 is the initial and final state. So, let us take an example string how this is accepted by this language. So, here you have to take here suppose this is q 0 and here a a a 4 a to b you when you will take n value as a 2 and this is 4 a to b and this is z is the stack bottom. So, now this is input and this is stack this is input and this is stack this is stack. So, here q 0 is the initial state and a is coming then what you have to do stack top input is a stack top is z you see in the diagram in your transition function in a z you have to push a into the stack and go to q 1. So, here it is q 1 and this is a a a b then a z. So, next q 1 is the state and input is a and stack top is a what you have to do check it and q 1 is a q 1 state input is a stack top is a you see here input is a stack top is a then go, go to q 2 and there will be no operation there will be no operation no need to push or something like in stack then it will be like that a a uh, a uh, a a b b a z a z clear now see in q 2 input is b stack top is q 2 input is a stack top is a what you have to do q 2 input is a stack top is a q 2 input is a stack top is a again you have to push a into the stack then go to q 1 go to q 1 now see in q 1 and this is q 1 then you have to a b b a a z a z. So, now you see 
in q 1 input is a stack top is a q 1 input is a stack top is a what you have to do no operation go to the q 2 then q 2 b b a a z q 2 b b a z now you take see here in q 2 input is b stack top is a input is b stack top is a stack top is there then what where you have to go go to q 3 and pop a from the stack q 3 then pop a from the stack q 3 this is b this is a z you have to pop a from the stack now see again you are in q 3 input is b stack top is a input is b stack top is a then what you have to do again a will be pop from the stack pop from the stack so here it is q 3 epsilon and this is j so here then q 3 and this is this is q 0 this is accepted state this is q 0 is the accepted state q 0 and this is a accepted state this is a q 0 now you see in q 3 you have read all the input and stack is empty then go to the final state go to the accepted state that is q 0 this is accept so here all the string generated by the language will be accepted by this push down automata then you can say this is also a deterministic push down automata and uh, whatever the language uh, whatever the strings accepted by this all the this uh, language generated by this language all are accepted and you can say this is a deterministic contest free language here l is a deterministic contest free language l is a deterministic contest free language so we'll go to the another example another example see here this is a uh, string given w w is a string l is a language given w w is a w belongs to a b input alphabet star and uh, a b star and number of a and number of b is equal number of a and number of b's are equal you have to design a push down automata all the string which is accepted by this diagram should be number of a equal to number of b so what, what you have to do here it can be start with a it can be start with b like uh, previous example you start with a only but here it can be start with a and can be start with b so what are the strings will be generated here we will take some strings here a b b a then a b b a like that equal number of a and equal number of b equal number of a and equal of number of b will be there each and every string then it will be accepted by this diagram so take here we uh, will take an example these are push operation you see these are push operation these all four are push operation you have to push push transition push operation push operation then here these two are pop operation then this is the accept state. So, here take an example suppose you will take an example here a b a b. So, q 0 you have to start from the q 0 initial state and here is the stack bottom is z here we have written that here z is the stack bottom and q 0 is the initial state and acceptance state. So, q 0 is the initial state and acceptance state. So, here q 0 q 0 a b a b now see here in q 0 a have to push a have to p push then go to the q 1 stack q 1 state 
then b a b this is a z a z a will be push into the stack then after q 1 b q 1 uh, b if q 1 input is b stack top is a what you have to do q 1 input is b then stack top is uh, b then again this will be pop this will be pop q 1 then a z uh, a z this is the b a b b a b then q 1 see here q 1 input is b stack top is a you have to pop pop a from the stack pop a from the uh, pop a from the stack q 1. So, now, again input is A, you have to push A into the, this is uh, A B input is A, again you have to push A into the stack, A into the stack. Again Q 1 B A input is A, stack top is B, again you have to pop, this is Q 1 epsilon Z then q1 epsilon z you have to go to the q0 z and this is ascent and stage this is ascent so this is also a you can say deterministic contest free language though here another example another example here w is a even polyandrum w is a even polyandrum so here w is a string will be a even polyandrum this even polyandrum you cannot be designed by a, a deterministic push down automata you must have to go for the non deterministic push down automata because a, this is a contest free language this is not a deterministic contest free language why because here in q1 b b same transition we are doing here push operation this is push and here is the another is q1 b b this is pop these two are same transition, these two are because of this non-deterministic, non-deterministic. So, here q 1, uh, q 1 when you are taking input is b, stack top is b, then some you have to push b into the stack and here input is b and stack top is B, you have to pop B and uh, go to the Q2 state. That is why here is the non-deterministic. In a single state Q1, input is B, stack top is B, you again we are push, push B into the stack. And here same state Q1 state, input is B, stack top is B, then going to Q2 and pop B from the stack pop b from the stack that's why this is a non deterministic push down automata and here also you can see here and here q1 here is the push this is the push operation in q1 a a this is again we are pushing a into the stack then same here in q1 a a we have to pass uh, pop a from the stack so, because of this, this is a non-deterministic push down automata. So, we will take a small string which is accepted by this diagram. We will take a small string. Let us take one a even polyandrum, uh, even polyandrum uh, a b b a a b b a. Suppose we will take this one as a string, this is q0, this is input and this is a stack, you know stack having z and this here. Now, q0 a stack bottom is uh, z, so stack is z, what you have to do? Push a into the stack, then q1 and this is b, b a z a z. So, next q 1 input is b 
stacked up is A. Again, we have to push it Q1 B A B A Z. So, in Q1 input is B, stacked up is B, we have two transition, we have to uh, you have to push B and go to same state. Again, we have another transition, pop B and go to Q2 state. So, what you have to do here is the non deterministic So, we have to pop because half of the string already push into the stack, we have to make stack is empty. So, we have to go for the pop operation. Then here Q2 and this is A, this is AZ, we pop A from the stack. Next, here is the Q2, then again you see in Q2 input is A stacked up is A, input is A stacked up is A, then here is two operation same you are uh, in Q2, it is Q2 input is Q2 input is A stacked up is A, so you have to pop it Q2 epsilon and Z. So, now Q2 epsilon Z you have to go to Q0, this is the accept state, accept So, these are the example of uh, determ uh, this is a non deterministic context free language. So, we have many problems like uh, some language already I already I have discussed there are some language for that we can have only deterministic push down automata and for some language we can have only non deterministic push down automata. So, it is unlike uh, NFA DFA, NFA DFA if regular language is there, we can have NFA and also we can have DFA and we can convert NFA to DFA, but this is in, in case of contest free language, we have in deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata and some language we have deterministic push down automata and some language we have to go for the non deterministic push down automata which cannot be accepted by the deterministic push down automata. Suppose this even polyandrum this cannot be accepted by the deterministic push down automata, we have to go for the non deterministic push down automata. Any sub any polyandrum even polyandrum odd polyandrum WWR language like that all are accepted by the non deterministic push down automata. So, thank you, this is, these are the references.